You're the daughter of a Hong Kong movie star and a shipping magnate, and you somehow decided to sail through the shipping industry. How did that come about? In 2001, um, I got a call from my dad um, asking if I would come back and give bus the family business a try. What's so sexy about pouring over spreadsheets, the Baltic Dry Index, container ships? It's frustrating at times. Oh. It's a great honor and opportunity to work along my father. It's nice to see him in action. I really feel the energy and the passion. Did my first internship in London, 9-11 happened, and I was on on the chartering desk. And then the next day, everything went into the red. What's interesting is that Wa Kuang has been in the black for the longest streak up until last year. We have always been a bit more conservative than your average listed company out there. And, and that's why we remain um, to be profitable. This year, you know, we will also probably be dipping into the red. Yeah, I mean, that's still, I mean, in a far better position than most others. Would you say that there's a little bit of woman's touch to what you do. There's the buy low, sell high strategy overall. Yes. yes. Plus, you tend to take longer chartered contracts, right? About yes. a five year horizon instead of trying to dip it, profit from the spot market. You always have to provide a bigger vision for, for the company to follow. So, for whatever um, business decision that I made, it's always cash flow driven. So that has worked out quite well. Last year, you said goodbye to your father, mm -hmm. who battled a long illness, and also your longtime CEO, Tim Huxley, left the company. The constant in the world has changed. He was ill for a long time, and with his passing, you know, his suffering finally ended as well. Tim and I, we worked alongside for almost 10 years. And when my father passed away, you know, he, he stood by me, and he was a great emotional support for me in many ways. It seems like you probably don't have time for anything else other than work trying to get your ship uh, together and you're now expecting baby number two. Yes. How do you manage it all? What's the secret? The secret is knowing that you're not a superman <laughs> <laughs> and something's got to give when you want it all. What has to give? It depends, you know, it could be small things. For me, I gave up traveling mm. um, for a few years at least. How do you also Thanks. find that mental balance? Just focus on the bigger things, <laughs> you know. My kid is still growing up, although he bumped his head three times a day. <laughs> so I'm okay, I'm doing okay, you know. <laughs> if you look at the Baltic Dry Intense in the last 18 months, you will probably go and say, I would probably like be in depression right now. <laughs> when you jumped into shipping, uh, were people harsh? When I first um, joined a company and accompanied my father on business trips, that I was asked to go to the kitchen to, to fetch drinks and stuff like that. <laughs> so you just have to take it with some humor. Yeah.